Speaking of Matt's, let's shift gears. Matt Capitelli, that's a friend of yours. Yeah, I went to college okay, with so him. Okay, so you went to uh, college with him, and you got a degree in what, business marketing? Business marketing. Western Michigan? Western Michigan. Uh, Kalamazoo. What kind of grades did you make? Awful. But you got through and you got a degree. While in college, I was traveling, you know, seven hours down to Louisville, Kentucky with me and my roadmates. Uh, You know, I I made sure that my classes were Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But you got a degree. But I got myself a degree. So you met Matt in college? We played college football together. What position did you play? I was brought in as a defensive end. And uh, once they realized that uh, I was the smallest man of the defensive line in Division I A college of all time, they moved me to linebacker. I was a red shirt freshman, so I didn't play at all. I, I wanted to quit from day four. It was a horrible experience. Right. But I said to myself, like, I made this commitment. I'm at least going to do the season. I did the season as a red shirt. So knowing I would never get in a game, but I, I finished out the season. And then after that, I was like, okay, it's, I put off wrestling long enough. And, and what happened was I, I had to go to college. My parents made me go to college. You're damn right. Hey, <laughs> anybody, I get asked all the time, and I'm sure you do too, yeah. Colt. Hey, what should I do to get in the wrestling business? I tell people, and you can back me up on this, or you can go down a different road. I recommend the highest level of education or any kind of technical training that you can get before you pursue that dream of getting in the squared circle. Because by and large, your chances are very slim at making it. And I'm not telling anybody to not follow their dream but when you ask my opinion, get the highest level of, uh, level of education that you can. Cool. Well, do you know what I've realized now is, and you'll agree with this because of all this stuff that you're futzing with, imagine if you knew how to do graphic arts. Imagine if you knew how to do audio engineering. Imagine if you knew how to do edit, video editing. Imagine if you spoke Spanish or Japanese or Korean. Do you know what an asset you would be as a professional wrestler? Like, so to realize how important these weird educational things are to you, you don't realize as a 16, 17-year-old because you're like, all I want to do is be a pro wrestler. But I'm sitting here telling you, and you're sitting here telling like, if you learn that stuff now, you have the most amazing advantage in the wrestling world because it's not just pro wrestling now. It's everything. Well, it's everything, but my point is you need a backup plan. I didn't have a backup plan. I got lucky. My career was a lucky, hard-working fluke. So, uh, but, you know, I had you know, almost 17 hours to go, and then I dropped out of school. <laughs> but to me, it's a backup plan because most people ain't going to make it. But going back to young Matt Capitelli, when Bob Holly throttled him Ooh. on Tough Enough back in the day, yeah. and I always loved working with Bob Holly. He's a very funny, unique guy, dry really? sense of humor. He's a loner, but, but he's a tough guy. But but I thought he shelled out a little bit hard on Matt, and I didn't agree with the beat down. How did you take that? Well, I knew him personally. Yeah. Well, and, it was hard for me to yeah, watch. And I, but what I knew, I knew about Matt. Like, so when I played football at Western, like I didn't have any friends. I had zero. It was kind Are you of, a loner. It was a hard. I'm not at all. Right. But like, I wasn't like everybody else. I don't know what it was. And Matt was always super nice to me. Yeah. yeah. And and he was and because. When we would sit in drill, so when we're sitting in the in the computers while the coach is talking to us, he sees me on like I don't even know what it was back then. You know, maybe Observer dot com. It's right. you know I'm on the internet looking up wrestling stuff yeah. while everyone's talking football. And he looked over and he was like, "Oh, I kind of like wrestling." And so we started talking about wrestling. So we had a friendship kind of based off of wrestling. And then when I stopped football and continue and went on to wrestle, he'd always be interested. He'd be wondering about it. And the next right. thing you know, he comes to me. He goes, "Hey, I'm I'm doing this tough enough thing." Right. And I Matt was. He's a hard, and he was on my podcast. Yeah, and he's a hardworking dude, and he's nice, and he's like a good Christian guy. And so when Bob Holly beat the shit out of him, yeah, I knew that like it wouldn't break Matt. He was a hard spirited guy, and I knew. And some of those guys on those shows, whether it's produced or not, you know, they fight back and, and they do the wrong thing. I guess in the wrestling terms of where they would yell at Bob Holly and and try to have some kind of whatever. You know, he was humble and he stood back, and I knew he was going to do that. Right. I kind of knew he was going to win. Like, I guess that's cheesy to say, but I knew the guy. I knew what a hard, what a heart he had, and what a spirit he has. And I was glad he won. And like for those who don't know, you know, he, he's gone through cancer, and uh, he's such a soldier. And and I don't know, he's what a great human being Matt Capitelli is. <laughs> 